Dr. Boleyn, professor, novelist, and an aspiring scientist. Ever since he was a little boy, he wanted to change the world. Day in and day out, he was always in his lab, working on his latest invention, a time machine. And then, after years of hard work, he finally achieved the impossible. Poor little Naomi. All she wants to do is fit in with her rich friends. One day, something catches her eye. Tired of Tired life, life here? here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Need, Need persons, persons who is who willing, willing to be experimented, to be experimented on? on? Will be Will compensated? Be Heck yeah! yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that? It's an experimental project where we get paid. So if we all do it, yeah, let's do it. Can just give that me the money. Cool. Nah, that's too sketch. No, why would I waste my time to help you earn money? What the hell? Uh, okay, whatever. Lexi, Gwen, meet me at our usual in 20. Okay, see you there. After 20 minutes, Naomi, Lexi, and Gwen met at their usual spot in the cafe. From there, they called the number from the poster, which was the number of Dr. Belen. He gave them the address to his lab, and they went on their way. What do you want? Hi, is this Dr. Belen? Uh, we're here for the experiment. Oh, right, right. Yeah, wait. It's my lab. This is it. This is what you came for. It's a watch that lets you uh, uh, travel in the back into time anytime you want. But you have to agree to my disclaimers. Uh, you might get cancer, you might get uh, heart disease, uh, you might die, you might forget stuff like amnesia. But the most important rule is when you go back to time, there's a certain time limit that you can only stay there. And after the time limit, if you're not together, there's a chance you might get left behind. I pre-programmed this watch to control the time period you're going to be in with these rings. Okay, but when am I going to get my money? We'll get you money once the experiment is finished. So take this ring and put them on. Are you sure this is going to work? Of course it will. I know what I'm doing. When you're ready, put your knuckles together in order for the rings to create enough energy to travel back to time. That's it? That's all we have to do? Yeah, that's it. It's that simple. Okay, oh, I guess. Alright, so your mission is to view the roles of women. The first time period is the colonial era, and from there you will have traveled. Donnie! Mom! I told you to call me Dr. Villain! Oh my god! You're my Donnie! Alright, anyways, from there you will travel to other periods every 10 minutes. Guys, I'm scared. Are you sure we should do this? Guys, I need the money. Sorry about that. Uh, it's September 14th, 1776. 1776? Are you yeah. sure? Of course. Oh. Well, would okay. you like to come to my house on, down yonder to get a spell tea? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. I'll go tend to my farm. Thank you. It's just down, down yonder. Children, run off now. Go, run along. You may be seated over here.
I'm going to rub this one too for you guys. Jiggy jiggy channel. I, I never know what she's saying. Just ignore her. Uh, set it down. Set it down. And you're dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? Um, what is that? An, an inhaler. It's an inhaler. You know, never mind. Okay. Where, where did you guys say you were from? Asia. That's where Ling Ling's from. Ling Ling! Ling Ling, maybe you guys know her. Ling Ling, come! Come! They're from Asia! Asia, where you're oh, from! Jean. Jean. Yes! Oh. Yeah, she's from a very Jean. prominent family in Asia. She's very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. So, yes. Very prominent family. Ling Ling! What are you still doing here? I'm just supposed to be doing your chores. You don't have to yell at her every time you walk through the door. And you? What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be home taking care of your children. Oh, no, we don't have children. Then then you must be off. They're fine. They just got here. No, no, um, no, yeah. No, we should keep we better better get going. going. No, really. It's fine. We can go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. What's that beeping? I think our time's almost up. What do we do? I think we're in black. I think we're in black. I think Hey, excuse me. Where are you? Martha San Jacobo has come around you. Welcome to the Women's Rights Meeting at Seneca Falls of 1848, I believe. To start. <laughs> We are going to talk about how women equal men, women are equal to men, women, we're going to talk about women today. <laughs> yes, in all their glory. And we need to sign this paper. How do you, never mind. Never the magical mind. pen. Changing. Fellow women, join me in the fight for women's equality. I'm here protesting the White House, and I'm going to talk to Mr. President and tell him that we, the women of America, need more rights. We need to be equal to men. So what say you? Are you with me? Excuse me? Who are you? I am Carrie Catt, and I am protesting the White House. Will you join me? Sure. Okay. Women's rights! 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 I have been summoned by President Wilson to go speak to him in the Oval Office. This is our time, ladies! This is our time for equality! We are finally gonna get the rights that men have! Hello, Mr. President. My name is Carrie Chapman Catt, and I am here on behalf of the National American Women at Suffrage Association, and we are representing every woman in America. I am here to propose that if we were to help you and support you in your war efforts, would you openly support the women's suffrage movement? That is a very good opportunity that you have presented to me. Let me let me mull over it for a bit. Do you think he's going to say yes? Of course he's going to say yes. This already happened. Obviously. You know, that would probably help us for the best. Thank you, Mr. President. I believe that this agreement will be highly beneficial for the both of us. 
Here we go again. Um, where, where are, are we, we again? My, my, my. Look at what the cat did. I can get you guys in. I know the house room. Toes can float. Catch you this book so we can raise our kid. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. But I, I have something to tell you. Yeah. What? Wait. What? The baby's not yours. Wh whose is it? I'm not sure. There were just so many of you guys coming back for more. I can't remember. Lost count. But you can help me raise it. You want to be that? Yeah. No. traveling experiments you said you would give us money after we were done oh right right yeah here's your money split it evenly among you guys what is what? this that's your money are you taking that money are you serious what is that worth nothing this is like a million dollar experience experiment why would i be getting a penny you be i never penny? said anything this experiment is worth more than this. Not for me. Are you fucking... <laughs> uh, <laughs> give me my money! I don't got anything to give you! Where's my money? I don't got your money! Where's the money? 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 I don't got your money! Who are you? Who are you? Wait, aren't you Ling Ling? Okay, that's racist. 
You look familiar too. Do I know you? No, I've never seen you in my life. Ugh, you guys are so weird. What are you guys doing in my house? Excuse me.